Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. Welcome you to Edu 728 class. The topic we want to examine today is the social linguistics of Nigerian three major languages. When we talk of Nigerian three major languages, we are talking about Hausa language, Igbo language, and Hausa and Yoruba language. Let us look at the background that makes Nigeria to be a multilingual nation or what Nigeria is being faced as a multilingual nation. Nigeria is a multilingual nation and like most multilingual nations of the world, Nigeria is faced with problem of its many languages. Examples of nations that speak English as a, lang as a second language due to, due to colonization are India, Malaysia, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Philippines, Gambia, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya. We have some other countries that are having the issue of using English as a second, I mean, as a second language due to colonization. Each of these countries have, has used several means to solve its multilingual problem. India, for example, adopted one of its languages, Hudu, as the official language. Malaysia adopted Mali, while Kenya and Tanzania adopted Swahili as their official languages. Although these steps may be seen as bold and it has challenges also, how successful they are have not been fully understood. It's a bold step taken by them, but their success have not been really shown. Countries that adopted local languages as lingua franca have always had to contend with the following challenges. Challenges such as producing books to meet their educational needs, developing meta language for such essential areas as mathematics, science, engineering, and technology, and the need for development of meta language kept on increasing in this nation. So any nation or countries that try to adopt local languages as, lingua, as their lingua franca used to contend with this problem. Problem of producing enough books to meet the educational problem in that local language, using that local language. The, the problem of developing meta language for essential areas of study like mathematics, sciences, engineering, and technology, and the need for development of this meta language kept on increasing. And as a result, examining Nigerian language situation, the only one out, out of the three languages that has a widespread outside Nigeria is Awusa language. So Nigeria has at the moment not got to the interesting motivation to put forth Awusa as the national language. Just like Swahili, Awusa is richly inundated with um, lessons directed from Arabic. Awusa is rich more than the two other major languages when we examine it. So it has the tendency to fit in as a national language. Like Awusa, Swahili is richly overwhelmed with lessons directly derived from Arabic. In spite of the role of traders, missionaries, colonial government and political mass media organization in the rise and development of Swahili. Swahili has not attained the success emphasis. In Kenya and in Tanzania, it has not been able to compete favorably with English as the language of education. To make any one of all Nigerian three languages play their role, as the language of education, there must be massive development of meta language in social sciences, mathematics, science and technology, engineering, agri and medicine, 
as well as other related science areas. That is, if we decided to pick one out of the three lang major languages to serve as our lingua franca, it means for such to meet up, there is need for massive development of meta language of that language in social sciences, in mathematics, in science, in technology, engineering, agriculture, medicine, and related sciences. That means for a for a, for one of the indigenous language to become a local uh, to become a lingua franca, there is need. There is a lot that we need to put in place, and um, as a result, we are still comfortable, or will still go on as um, adopting English language as the language that cut across the nation, that is, as our lingua franca. So let's look at Awusa language in Nigeria multilingual setting. The period of indirect rule of colonial masters in Nigeria helped to stabilize Awusa and aid its growth. In fact, Awusa language is ranked as one of the world's major languages. It is a lingua franca used for trade and commerce, for information and administration in the northern part of the nation. The constitution of Nigeria recognizes AUSA and so it is enshrined in the constitution of the nation, 1999 constitution, and also the national policy on education recognizes the um, AUSA, recognizes AUSA has the as one of the three major languages in Nigeria. It is also a medium of instruction in the north and then um, at the lower at primary school and even to the extent that at senior secondary school, it is studied as a subject which students do write um, external examination Waek and Neko on it. So AUSA is AUSA language is a subject of study an area of specialization at NCE and at degree level, even up to PhD and even up to a professorial level, we have people that are specialists in Awusa language. So it is constitutional recognized, it is a medium of instruction, and it is a subject of study. It is a subject of study not only in Nigeria, but outside the nation. In Europe and in the uh, United States of America, it is being studied as a subject. Large volumes of papers are published and distributed in AUSA, and we even have local radio broadcasts in AUSA, and this keeps the language vibrant and alive across West Africa. It is a language of broadcast not only in Nigeria, but in other African countries like Niger, and even BBC and Voice of America, as well as Radio Moscow, regularly broadcast using the language does make AUSA the most international language of the three major languages with population of over 35 million speakers it is an international language AUSA ranks with swahili as one of the most international language in sub-sahara africa AUSA has a very rich vocabulary because of its huge capacity to borrow and accommodate loan words from Arabic and Tuareg. AUSA is rich in vocabulary and it borrows heavily from not only from Arabic and Tuareg but from Mande and Kanuri. And for the major source of borrowing for AUSA language has been Arabic language. AUSA is literally filled with low words from Arabic origin. It has had no difficulty in integrating these Arabic words into our own morphological system. Hausa has had a new wave of loan words from English in Nigeria and from French in Niger. There has been a move from Hausa intellectual to turn to Arabic for technical vocabulary required for modern scientific and educational purposes. Based on differences in pronunciation and grammar, there emerge two major dialects 
the Western dialect to centers in Kano and Gobi, and Eastern dialect from centers in Kano and Zaria. That means Hausa teacher must take note of these two variations and must ensure that, irrespective of his own dialect, his teaching must conform to the Hausa curriculum specification in terms of speaking, reading, and writing. Hausa is a lingua franca in northern Nigerian states. It is, its use is so widespread and fundamental that is fast taking over many other many minority languages in the north hausa is one of the three dominant lang nigerian languages that spread across international borders within africa so a nigerian language teacher of hausa therefore has the opportunity to teach hausa language not only in nigeria but also outside the nation. Let us examine the Igbo language in Nigeria multilingual setting. Igbo is dominant language, Igbo language is dominant language in the Southeast ge geopolitical region. Nigeria South South geopolitical zone equally has a large population to whom Igbo language is the first or second language. Igbo language is dominant language in the eastern part of the nation. It has about 20 million speakers who are primarily of Igbo descendants. Migration took Igbo people to Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea. While during the Civil War, it also took them to Gabon. The slave trade also took them to Caribbean. So that means we can have Igbo speakers in Equatorial Guinea in Cameroon, in Gabon, and in, in the Caribbean. The slave trade took them to the Caribbean. Genetically, Igbo, like Awusa, that is the language, is Kwa. And like all Kwa languages, Igbo and Yoruba share the striking features of the presence of double articulated labia vela stop. Although there are several dialects of Igbo distinguished by variant accents and orthography, the dialects are in most cases mutually intelligible accent and orthography. A standard literary Igbo language based on central Igbo spanning Ogwere and Imo Hia dialect was developed in 1972. From the moment it was proposed in 1939 by Ward, by Dr. Ward, the Central Igbo has gained very wide accent, especially in its use for scholarly work. Igbo language has variant uh, dialects. And so, out of the three languages, Igbo language is the one that is facing this particular problem. The Onowu orthography, for example, was based on Central Igbo. K. Willinson distribution to 12 Nigerian languages was based on Central Igbo. Central Igbo faced a lot of challenges, for example, viewing Central Igbo as imperialistic. The Society for Promoting Igbo Language and Culture set up a parallel Igbo orthography. The harmonization committee, they sought to cross pollinate central Igbo, Igbo with words from other dialects outside the central Igbo and accommodate loan words. This, um, the major problem confronting orthography is the inability to harmonize and standardize the very wide range of spoken Igbo dialects. Like I said, out of the three languages, it is only Igbo that is confronted with this problem of um, orthography, inability to harmonize and standardize the orthography. The Ongu orthography agreed in 1962 was a compromise between missionaries' orthography in use for over 70 years before colonialists introduced the African orthography in 1929. And the newer one advocated 
by the International Institute of African Languages and Culture. Igbo speaking people had a traditional coding or writing style known as NCBD ideograms. NCBD ideograms was developed for writing by the Ekoi people along before the 1550s. It died out naturally as a writing system. The Ekpe court group revived it by adopting it as a secret code among its members. Two factors distinguish the various dialects of Igbo. The first one is the accent, and the second one is orthography. Igbo orthography varies according to dialect. According to Wilson, William Singh, in keeping with the tradition of harmonizing the alphabet, Onowu orthography attempted to harmonize Igbo alphabet by using eight symbols to accommodate the two variants. The Onwu orthography was criticized for using three difficult phonetic symbols. And like I said, this has been a problem with Igbo language. The use of Onwu orthography was part to distort the structure of the language. Of, out of the three major Nigerian languages, Igbo has the most controversial orthography because of the emergence of competing orthographies. This caused confusion over three decades, during which the Igbo language suffered. Publication in Igbo virtually, became, virtually came to a halt. Teaching of the language in school stagnated and public examination in Igbo could not take off as the case with um, could not take off at the same time Awusa and English took off when the university, the Cambridge University introduced them to senior certificate examination um, in 1935. To stem the tide of confusion, in order to overcome this problem, the government of Eastern Nigeria then introduced Hongwu orthography as the official orthography to be used in Eastern Nigeria. Hardly had they overcome this, settled, hardly had the dust settled on this, then new challenges started. Beginning from 1968, when individuals and groups now write Igbo with different orthographies, new symbols and tonal in, uh, notations and spellings rules, all of which differ from the official orthography. And this affected uh, what uh, the development that is expected of the language. There are several competing orthography which has posed which have posed difficulty and embarrassment to the Ministry of Education in Igbo speaking states and such Igbo stakeholders as authors and publishers, researchers and um, electronic and print media organizations, practitioners and teachers, schools and learners, examination bodies and non-governmental agencies are facing this problem. Like other major languages, Igbo has orthography, it has a um, curriculum description, uh, description, it is taught in primary school, it is taught at um, secondary school, at NCE and at university level. We have professors that are professing in, in, in that language, in Igbo language. The implication of this to us as teachers is that a teacher of Igbo should stick to the most acceptable orthography, should make students conversant of the other orthography variation, orthographical variations, and should also be conversant with Igbo language curriculum. So let's look at Yoruba language in multilingual setting. It is the third of uh, the third major uh, major uh, Nigerian languages. It is the language of the people found in southwestern region of Nigeria. It is spoken as the native language of people in the following states: in Oyo, Oshun, Ogun, Lagos, Ekiti, Kogi. Part of Kogi, we have. Um, people of Okun and Yagba using Yoruba language. In Ondotu, we have the Ondo states are Yoruba speakers. 
Then in Quara State, we have Igbomino, Ibolo, and Ilori. They are also speakers of um, Yoruba language. Yoruba is one of the many Niger Congo languages of sub Saharan language. It's one of the four major Kwa languages spoken in West Africa's country, West African countries of Togo. That is, we have speakers of Yoruba also in Togo. In Togo, we have them in Bene Republic and also in Nigeria. The three other languages, you know, we said it is one of the four. Yoruba is one. Hakan also is one. Hewe is one, and Igbo is one. Then Nupe and Batonu are spoken in the northern part of Puara. Among Yoruba languages are Akoko cluster of Edo, is a variant of Yoruba language. Then we have variants of Yoruba language in Ondo State too. Yoruba and Shekiri of Delta State and Igala in Kogi State are also speakers of variants of Yoruba language. Outside Nigeria, Yoruba is spoken in Republic of Benin, in Ghana, in Togo, and in Syria alone. Yoruba is a, na a native language to Nigerian. It is study actual its study actually began in Syria alone. Following the British abolition of slave trade, all slaves of West African origin were repatriated to Syria alone and settled in Africa. Yoruba began to thrive in Syria alone, following the very large number of free slaves of Yoruba origin that were repatriated pat to Syria alone and who were settled in Freetown. Yoruba became so dominant that in 1831, it was chosen as one of the two African languages to be used as a medium of instruction in a girls' school in Syria alone. The Church Missionary Society, CMS, under Reverend Samuel Ajayi Crowder, Reverend Father Samuel Ajayi Crowder, settled in Abeokuta, where he undertook the translation of the Bible and Anglican Communal Prayer Book and Psalms into Yoruba as a means of spreading the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the natives. The Abeokuta, the missionary uh, the CMS developed Yoruba alphabet, prepared primers for initial alphabet teaching in Yoruba between 1859 and 1867. The CMS produced a prodigal in Yoruba, the first of such material to be produced in West Africa. And um, Yoruba is highly influenced by Arabic too. It had been entrenched as part of literary culture of southwestern part of Nigeria long before the arrival of Christian missionaries. It's on record that court proceedings of Timi Ofede were kept in Arabic. That is to show the relationship between Yoruba language and Arabic. That a lot of known words are borrowed from Arabic into Yoruba words. Yoruba is flooded with Arabic words in the area of religion, ethics, and politics. Yoruba has a most stable orthography, heart of the three major languages. It took some time for it to arrive at this level, beginning from the efforts of Thomas Bodwich in 1819. Yoruba orthography grew gradually through the efforts of Kalma, who first taught Yoruba at Kalote Girls Secondary School, Syria alone in Freetown. Having said that, we have seen that the three major Nigerian languages and how they are being used, the social linguistic functions that they are doing uh, among us in making us to, to interact with one another and um, with the region in which they are dominant and their function even outside the nation. Thanks. For Please. Saying thank you, Nagode, Himela, Anya, Dalu, Eshe.